What's up boys and girls? Welcome to another video with me, Alex, the dude who likes personal finance and lives on one of the most remote places on earth, Greenland. So in this video I will go into why I chose to call Greenland home and why I choose to settle here again on this remote island. So if you're new here, please feel free to drop me a like, consider subscribing if you haven't already and let's get right into it. Living in Greenland and why would you do it? Are there any sort of benefits of living here? To answer the question, sometimes. I have roughly called Greenland my home for the last 14 years and recently just buying a home which pretty much settles me down even further now so you could say that I'm fairly well integrated plus of course my 25% of Greenlandic running in my veins. Living here as opposed to Denmark has definitely given me a different upbringing and I would say has also given me a different perspective on life. So drawing on that experience I will try to give you a better look of how it is to actually live here in Greenland and function properly as a law-abiding citizen, paying your taxes and always making sure that you do the best for your country, sometimes. So how is it to live here? I would say it would compare to any other sort of mid-sized town in Denmark, for example. As here in Nuuk, the capital of Greenland, we are right around 18,000 people at the moment. But we do have running water, electricity, internet, pretty expensive though, modern day jobs, but no Teslas running in the streets at the moment. No, no, no. Which in my opinion makes us a little far behind comparing to the rest of the world. Because we all want to go on that wave of green technology not having us to import all that oil. Because Greenland is per citizen a very polluting country. And I don't think that's the future. So at least in the three largest cities here, or cities slash towns, I guess you would say, like Nuuk, Iluliset, and Sisimiut, I would say we have a pretty modern lifestyle. Of course, in the smaller settlements around Greenland, we have a lot scattered around all over Greenland. The lifestyle is a lot different comparing to the larger towns. And in my opinion, I believe that the smaller settlements are uh, the ones that has definitely portrayed the image of Greenland with uh, sled dogs, snowmobiling trips, and being in cabins, going out hunting for caribou. Well, you do that here, but... And of course, Will Blubber for breakfast. I don't do that. I, I drink my daily green smoothie here. But Nuuk, the capital, has all the modern amenities that you could think of, I would say. And they're even building an international airport here, so... In the future, hopefully, I really hope that you'll be able to take a plane directly to Italy or Spain, just coming from a trip to Sicily where you do have to get through Denmark first. But hopefully in the future, you'll be able to do that from here, please. But here in Greenland, we do live at the mercy of the nature. As of today, we just lost a trip with a boat into the fjords because the wind was simply too strong. And also roughly two weeks ago, we had this huge storm with wind gusts of about 45 meters per second. And we were actually advised to stay inside by the authorities here in Greenland. So you live at the mercy of the nature up here and people have just, through generations and in this culture, people have just learned to accept it. And sometimes you can be delayed because the weather just won't allow you to go from one town to another or get into the country. And then the big one for all the 9 to fivers out there questioning how it is to work here in Greenland. I mean, you could definitely make a completely separate video as to how it is to work here in Greenland. And maybe I will if you remember to hit the like button and subscribing, please. But after roughly three years of employment here in Nuuk as an engineer and some smaller minor jobs in the past. I would definitely say that you can get just as stressed of working here in Greenland compared to any other place. Just if you wondered about that part. The nature is beautiful, yes, but it won't get you through the day of hard labor. But a unique thing about working up here is that you feel you actually contribute to something because up here, 58,000 people, it feels more 
as if every person counts and per person I would say you have a lot more to say and get done as a single person and if you want you can get pretty far up here pretty fast since the population is small and the employable and good educated people are scarce. A standing joke up here is that one year of employment equals to roughly two to three years in Denmark because up here you get responsibility so fast and you have to learn so fast because the population is so small and it is sort of expected that you do the job because nobody else is there to do it for you. I like to say that you get thrown into deep water pretty fast. If you can swim, that's a good thing. But if you can't, then you'll end up drowning in all the responsibility. So if you think of getting employed here in Greenland, be ready for responsibility. It's probably going to be handed over to you, boom, when you sign the contract and start working. So be prepared for that. When I'm not being a city boy here in Nuuk, I like to go out in nature and enjoy it because living in Greenland equals getting into nature. Nuuk has a huge fjord system and I have been thinking hard, like very, very hard about buying a boat for the last three years. But I just think at the moment it's such a crazy amount of money to put into something that's more of a liability financially, not mentally and personally, of course. But it is just such a large amount of money to put into something that you can only do for roughly seven to eight months during a year. Sisimut also has a place in my heart as I have family and friends there. It is the second largest town here in Greenland and is wonderful for dog sledding, snowmobiling, and each year it hosts a very large and internationally known cross-country skiing event called Arctic Circle Race. If you don't know it, I'll drop a link below and you can just Google that. Way of life in Sisimut is, I would say, a little slower compared to Nuuk, but it definitely also has its charms. So, to end this video and come up with a short answer as of how it is to live in Greenland, I would say it's not for everybody, but I like living here. I've been living here for a large part of my life. It feels free. You have a say in shaping the day of tomorrow. And I also believe it has a lot of possibilities which has just not been developed or exploited yet. In my eyes, Greenland could very well have a population compared to Iceland of 300,000 people instead of only 58,000 people. As we have plenty of space, clean water and lots of fresh air. And in the future we might, as new technologies pave the way of new enterprises such as container farming, internet connectivity. I mean, I'm sending a YouTube video out on the interwebs right now. Extraction of resources. I hope that the mining industry gets going pretty quickly here. And also sustainable tourism. Lately Nuuk has tried to get into the club of being one of the sustainable cities in the world. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. We are almost at 100 subscribers. Woohoo! So please, if you don't mind, hit the like button, subscribe and see you in the next video. Okay, bye.